Camille, there are rumors. There are reports. <laughs> that you're going to be in the Eternals. <laughs> Hi, ladies. What the hell's going on? You selected the Uber pool option. Uber what? Ladies, official police business. Is that even real? Get out of the car! Oh, God. God. Guys, ugh, I love this pairing so much. Oh, thank, thank you. Yeah, you. and Camille, you've done a lot of comedy. Dave, I would say two because of Guardians. Guardians. <laughs> but how was it kind of leading your first comedy, basically? It was, um, it was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Why? No, I was nervous about it. It was like, it's just... It's not a comfortable place for me. It was something. It was something that was uh, foreign to me. I didn't. I wasn't super confident about it. But I was, you know, very open-minded. I am kind of in general. I'm open-minded. I'm okay with being a student. But it is. It's getting out of my comfort zone a little bit. How do you do? He was great. You <laughs> saw the movie. I right? saw the best. I'm saying. Man. I liked seeing you and Karen kind of teaming up. Out yeah. of what was that like oh, doing? Man. Out of that makeup, kind of different characters it was, this time. It was so great because I love her. She's like one of my favorite people. But I actually we were on a press junket here for Avengers: Infinity War mm -hmm. when I found out that she was going to be my partner in Stuber. We were crossing each other in the, in, the ele in the elevator. We were crossing past, and she said, "Hey, I'm doing a movie with you next month." And I said, "Which one?" She said, Stuber. I was like, no, no way. But it was really great to just be there and, and be out of makeup and just be able to be ourselves. But Karen, she's just one of my, she's such a sweet person. Like, she's, she's a so pleasant cool. woman. I, I love being around her. Yeah, she's awesome. She really is. Speaking of Guardians 3, James Gunn is back. Yeah. So excited. But I gotta ask, because there was like, you were like fully prepared to jump ship, maybe go do Suicide Squad. Was that like a real thing that was in the works? No, no, it wasn't that I was going to jump sh ship and do Suicide Squad. I was more at the point where I was like, fire me. I don't care. You're going to hear what I have to say. Mm -hmm. This is the way I feel, and this is, I think you made a bad call, and I don't care if you fire me because I feel this way. This is me being honest and me uh, sticking up for my friend who was wronged. And, yeah. uh, so that was it. It wasn't about me, you know, I'm not threatening to go to do Suicide Squad. I would just... Just saying, I've, if things aren't right here, I'm just gonna leave. I don't wanna be a part of this. Yeah. So how are you feeling now that he's back? I feel great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I feel great. And I think, uh, you know, it's weird. It almost feels a statement that they actually came back. They, they they came back. They admit that they just made a wrong decision. Like, for, for some, you know, for a huge juggernaut of a corporation like Disney to say, we made a mistake and we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make this wrong or right. I mean, that says something. You know, I mean, if they can, if they can do that, if they can change their mind and say they made a mistake, then anybody can. You know, and sometimes it's never too late to say you were wrong. Camille, there are rumors. There are reports <laughs> that you're going to be in the Eternals. That's what everybody wants to I'm do. I'm sure everybody's going to ask you today, everybody but I'm going to do it too. I, I, I can't talk about it. We're all very excited specific. about the rumor. We're excited about <laughs> the rumor that is going around. I love Marvel, you know. I mean, it would be a dream to be in one of those movies.